Hi, John Bryan, West Virginia civil rights lawyer here. Somebody has sent me this video of a search warrant execution that happened in California. And this perfectly illustrates what's going on now or the dangers of what could happen here with the ATF trying to get every pistol braced AR-15 that's out there in circulation registered by just saying, here, here's a free $200 tax stamp. Come register your questionably legal pistol brace for which you might be a felon. Register it with us. We won't even charge you the regular $200 tax stamp. And now you'll be registered with us. You'll be good to go. Well, California must have some sort of similar registration scheme as the ATF has on a national scale to allow their peasants to possess so-called assault rifles. Apparently, this 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 guy who had uploaded this this video onto the internet had attempted to register a AR-15 style lower with California, and I'm not sure exactly what the process of the laws are there, but it was a legal process, and he started to register or tried to register, and what did they do? They got a search warrant to come just check out this evil assault weapon themselves to try to catch him, presumably in one of California's legal loopholes, to see if he had already assembled it, in other words, put the upper on the lower, and you'll see what happens in the video. Um, I'm not, no, I'm not going to say anything. You guys can do what you want to do. And what, um, I don't give consent for search or seizure or well, anything. We have a search warrant, so I'm not asking for your consent. Okay, I don't want to talk. We're not talking at all. So do what you're going to do. So apparently they're looking for a lower off of a AR-15 style rifle, which he had apparently attempted to register lawfully or legally with the California Department of Justice or whatever the hell they call it. But and so that, they right, know that, that he must right. have this item it's in his not, house, though it's not it's illegal personal. unless he you adds parts to it to create the whole so-called assault right. rifle. Okay. And they're trying to to uh, get in his house and just to get him voluntarily to give him the weapon. And he's not right. he's not complying at all. He's not being rude. He's being polite and cooperative, which you know, is, I think, good advice. And um, he's all just making them do the deed, which they're to there to do. Okay. I'm not. Gonna, we're not going to be assisting at all. You guys can do your thing. Okay. We're not. But we're not consenting to search or seizure. Okay. Yeah. End of story. No, I understand that. Okay. And if you, if you, and I, I remember you're on video. So why, is, why are my daughters? That's great. I'm glad. Why are my daughters not with my wife right now? Because they're wiping down the door. Okay. So shouldn't she go back up now? Hey, you guys can go up there. Okay. Okay. I've, I'm. Yes, I said I'm going to sit down three times. I provided. I was walking towards the chair. So. Okay, I already said I'm not going to say anything. You guys have what you're going to do. I don't. You do have a search warrant. As you can see, it's really I don't consent to any search warrant. Search warrant is search of any place where the gun could be at, okay? So that could be any crevice, any box, anywhere. Instead of us going digging through everything, okay. you can direct us to exactly where it is. We're just looking for this one one firearm, that's it. We're not looking for anything else. We're not looking for... Hi. Notice the thin blue line flag there on his plate carrier or whatever it is. Okay, and if you think that your local cops or cops in general aren't going to come to your house and confiscate your firearms if the government, their employer tells them to, um, they'll find somebody who does. I mean, just look at this guy. And they'll probably have a thin blue line flag on the ammo carrier that they're going to use to come inside your house with your wife and, and your children. So we found what we're, we're going to try to inspect. It is not a assault weapon, so we're going to leave it. We're going to forward, or you're going to, your application is going to be approved. You understand? I'm not saying anything. Okay. So we're going to leave this here. We're going to see a copy of the um, property receipt. Or sorry, of the uh, search warrant, and we're done. All right? Do you have any other questions? Do you have any questions? I'm not talking. Well, you're trying to give you an opportunity to build that law, you're going to be in trouble. So I, I know you probably know the law. I, got a, I was just talking to a lawyer. Okay. Sir, I appreciate law enforcement, but... Okay.
please uh, just. So we're just trying to help you out and make sure you compliance with it. In case you missed that, the cop that came out of the basement came out with the AR-15 style lower receiver, and it was duly locked as required apparently under California law. So they found exactly what um, you know the law should presume they would find is nothing illegal under California law, and so they had nothing to seize, they had nothing to charge him with, and they basically said, "Oh well, um, we're here to help you and." And um, I'm hope um, I'm, we're going to approve your application, and, and uh, I'm glad that we were able to help you here today. And, and have a nice day. I accept your apology. That is unfortunately probably a preview of coming attractions about what a future pistol brace owners are going to have to deal with once they register over a million pistol braced AR-15 style rifle pistols with a ATF who now may be emboldened under a presidential administration that has the open policy of trying of wanting to outlaw and confiscate so-called assault rifles. What are they going to be able to get away with then? Then they can treat you like California treats their citizens. Yeah, you have the ability to register on our website. Just go through the process. It's friendly and easy. It's just like the DMV, only worse. And then once you register, because they're going to go all through your house, go through your basement, and guess what? Anything else that they see there, they get to also seize. And under the plain view doctrine, it will be admissible in court against you. So again, this is a preview of coming attractions. And this is government tyranny, exactly what you're seeing here. And this is the sort of tyranny that our founding fathers, our forefathers, fought the Revolutionary War for. And actually put in our Constitution a set of Bill of Rights that prevented basically blanket warrants such as this and that's what it is I, I haven't seen the warrant but i bet you there's no individual um, art articulated suspicion of why this guy had something illegal in his house other than he wanted to put together this assault rifle so therefore he must have had some components in his house and the law cannot presume criminal activity without individualized particularized facts that are individual to, to that person. You can't presume criminal conduct.